day been like for you? Yeah, it's been good. Um, I've actually never practiced in the rink without fans, so it's kind of new. And uh, no, it was good. It's been fun. Uh, just excited to get playing tonight. Now, since <clears throat> since you've come up, <clears throat> you've obviously been given more of an opportunity to play more minutes, play in different situations. How mm -hmm. has that helped you your game, you know, confidence wise? Yeah. yeah, definitely. I think um, Donnie, you know, he's he's really huge in kind of just installing confidence inside of you and you know uh, I just tried to play my game that's what he wants us to do is just relax have fun out there and, and play hockey so um, you know I worked my hardest I, I think uh, I've tried to earn everything I've got and I'm um, just continuing to do that to get better every day. Coaches and teammates lately have talked a lot about your tenaciousness back checking where does that element of poor checking where does that element of your game come from that yeah, um, I think just having two other brothers always competing in the basement and stuff like that. Just growing up, uh, you know, I think my parents just said if you work hard, you can, you know, um, have anything you want. You can you can do anything in your life. So, um, you know, I try to continue that onto the ice. And, um, yeah, and then obviously with the back check, I think I have two brothers that are D-men. So they always uh, told me that uh, they hated when guys in back check. So I make sure I do that. <laughs> your, your time in Vegas, whether it was in the bubble when you were Covering from the injury, you know, the 13 games you played for mm -hmm. the Golden Knights. In what ways, you know, did that really help you when you came come over to Buffalo and you're getting, you have this opportunity here in the NHL? Yeah, I think um, you know having that bubble experience really got me you know comfortable just being around NHL guys. Obviously, as a young guy, you come in and you're a little intimidated for sure. Uh, you know. Um, you look up to these guys all growing up, and obviously I still continue to look up to those guys. Um, but no, I think just gaining experience is the biggest thing. I think you definitely, have, everyone has this, this, the tools and skills to play. Um, it's just, uh, like I said, be, being confident in, in your play. Um, for me, it's always just been uh, between my two years. How can I control that and bring it to, onto the ice for sure? So I think those, those uh, things that I learned in the bubble, um, you know, being around NHL guys and then Playing four games uh, last year, you know, get a little taste of it. So in the summer, I could, you know, know what I had to do to come in and, and play in the NHL, and um, obviously playing those games and coming to here, um, you know, just trying to, like I said, play confident. Um, you know, I think Donnie obviously is, is a great coach, and you know, making sure that you know where you're at and what you have to do to get better. So um, yeah, it's been great. I'm sure. Sorry, I was gonna say, do you think it's gonna be emotional for you when you take the ice? I mean. Um, you know, I, I'm just ex I think it'd be exciting for me. Um, you know, I Tucky and um, Ian Cody, um, they played here longer than I did, so maybe uh, a little more emotional for them. Um, but I, yeah, I definitely think it's a team that you draft that draft you and believe in you from the beginning. Um, it's definitely. Uh, Something that you, you'll remember for the rest of your life, but at the same time, you're just excited to, you know, show them why, uh, I guess, why uh, you you know you're a great player. And um, I don't know. I think it'll just be if you know have some good shifts and you get excited. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure when you broke into the NHL and you got your opportunity in Vegas, that you wanted to produce more offensively. What was mm -hmm. it? You know, those 13 games. What did you learn from those? You know, going through that. Yeah, I think obviously anytime you know you're a young guy, you come into the Western League, you, you want to produce right away. You, you come from playing a lot of minutes, and you know obviously uh, coming into Vegas, there's a lot of great players, and you know you had to pick your spots to get your opportunities. And um, no, I definitely learned that you can't take anything for granted. Um, you know, um, it's not an easy, easy path up. You know, I'm not going to be straight into you know um, getting. 100, 100 points, whatever it is, right? Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's just uh, you look at some of the other guys, you know, that have are the best players now, and, you know, they it took some time for them to get going. And, you know, I'm, I obviously don't want that. I want to be the best player I can be off the stop, start. But I think, you know, playing those 13 games and getting to know the league a bit, you just, you, you know, you got to stick with it and know that if you keep grinding every day that it's going to come. And, uh yeah, I think I definitely learned that uh, you, you just can't stop getting better every day. Don said he went back and watched some of your games when you were playing in Vegas, and he says he sees a completely different player. Mm -hmm. And specific to you know skating stride or things like that, do you go? Do you watch a lot of video yourself, and do you see anything different right now? 
that's allowing you to have this success? Yeah, I think for me, it's, um, you know, I was playing a lot different role in Vegas than I am here. Um, you know, there, like I said, there's a lot of great players, and, um, you know, I wasn't that guy that maybe was going to go stop a goal in the last minute. Um, and, you know, for me, with Donnie, he's been great for me, you know, just getting confidence in my game. And, um, you know, now I can, I'm, he has trust me to allow me to do that. And I think there's a lot of older guys in Vegas, they're kind of a win now mode. And, it was harder for me to get those opportunities. So I just got to make sure that, you know, I didn't turn the puck over and, uh, you know, uh, made sure I had to uh, put those next guys in a good position to play. And now I'm kind of those guys that, you know, I want to be that guy that, you know, goes and scores now. And I, I believe I can do it. And, um, you know, it's it's exciting for me for sure. Um, so I think, you know, obviously, like I said, I think for me going from there, it's, it's between my two years for sure. You know, um, I'm... I'm, I feel more confident in, in, in my game and what I can do. Was this the best way possible to reconnect with the guys from Rochester? Having a bunch of them yeah. to you instead of the other way around? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll see here. So, um, no, it's, it's great to see those guys. So, it's awesome. Thank you, Rick. Awesome. Thank you.